Like I just kind of had to curl up into a ball. So I had to like sit there for a minute just because I did not feel good at all. Good morning. It is day four post-op. I took my pain pill. It was like half a pain pill last night at midnight and I haven't taken one since so I don't really think I need them anymore. You don't need to constantly be totally numb to everything. I felt a couple like little poke type pains but it's just like very random. Like when I had my breast augmentation surgery that happened while it was healing too. It was like little zaps. I feel like it's like the nerve endings reconnecting. I mean it's not a bad thing. It's like as long as you're not in actual pain. I don't think it's bad to like stop taking the pain pills, obviously. So I still need to wash my face. I'm very poofy. Um, I've been up for a few minutes. <laughs> it just seems like right when I wake up my eyes are so swollen they kind of like slant downward. Starting to look more yellow and heal up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom and just like wash everything up. And so last night I was laying in bed and I had an ice pack and I was trying to watch videos on my phone and uh, you have to be careful when you're doing that because first off you could drop your phone on your face which I've done a million times before having all this done so obviously it can happen even more once you're actually recovering <laughs> but that's not what happened. I went to adjust because it was like dark in the room and I went to adjust my ice pack with my other hand and my depth perception must have been off and I just hit my thumb across the tip of my nose pretty dang hard. It didn't hurt as bad as you would think but it definitely freaked me out because the last thing that you want to be doing is bumping your nose after because it's going to cause more swelling and it can mess things up. So I don't think I hit it hard enough to mess anything up. Thank goodness I still have the cast. But yeah you definitely want to be super careful because yeah that was not smart. <laughs> so I feel like I haven't talked too much about the fat transfer areas just because I feel like I mean you can kind of see the area. It's obviously swollen it's obviously bruised when I touch it it's pretty numb so that's probably why I haven't talked about it too much I just can't really feel anything on it it just feels kind of tight right there and numb so it doesn't hurt at all the only part that hurts is where they took out the fat and even there it doesn't really hurt it just feels really bruised not too big of a deal even without the pain medicine I'm still able to get in and out of the bed I try to be careful with those areas but it's not too bad when I wipe over it it just feels like really numb it's it's almost like if you went to the dentist and they gave you shots of lidocaine and like your mouth was numb and you were touching it. That's pretty much what it feels like just like right under my eyes. I don't know if it's just because the fat is there and um, the nerve endings haven't built through it yet or what it is but hey it doesn't hurt so no complaints on that. I'm sure once the swelling fully goes down it'll help things get more normal you know. So kind of yellow, probably just, just the healing fluid, a little tiny bit of blood. Yesterday I only took like one pain pill total. I took half at noon and then the other half at night. And then I think I took another half right before I went to bed just so I could actually fall asleep because I've been sleeping so much during the day and they kind of help you fall asleep. So but I have woken up with a horrible kink in my neck. Sleeping on two pillows is not comfortable. So you'll notice I'm always doing this. I think that's like maybe the worst of it right now is my neck is just stiff from trying to prop it up at night. Oh, it's trying to breathe a little bit better through my nose. So the inside of the nostril when you're like pressing the q-tip around it's just a little tender i would definitely compare it to like not actually not even to the level of like, if you've ever had a pimple inside of your nose and it's kind of swollen and tender and if you just touch your nose it kind of feels that way i would say it's not quite that tender just a little bit less than that so maybe the beginning stages of that um just for like comparison and a lot of the areas aren't even sensitive so just the first two q-tips came out kind of yellow from this side but that was it and on this side it's still more swollen so it's my left side is still more swollen than my right side so it's still harder to get in there it's definitely more tender just because obviously the q-tip doesn't fully fit very well so you have to I don't know try a little bit harder I guess surprising all the different crevices that there are in your nose like if it goes like towards the back and there's like a little pocket towards the front like you think it's just like a tube but there's just like all these little like cavities in there so you kind of have to swipe around everything so another thing that I've noticed noticed with my stitches is um, this side they go up further and this side they only go up like halfway like to right there or I mean you guys can kind of see so they go to like right there 
and then on this side they seem to go like up further onto the nostril so maybe there was like some different symmetry naturally and he just kind of maybe evened it out or something like that that's my guess i haven't talked to him really but or at all about it since the surgery so we're still on the three-day weekend still have today and tomorrow left and then i can call them on tuesday and figure out what time i need to go in on thursday because i didn't schedule a time i mean i was just kind of out of it the past few days so didn't really call and schedule anything the surgical center called me the first day after surgery and the second day after surgery except when they left me a message they just said they were just like oh just you know sorry we didn't get a hold of you we'll try again so they didn't tell me to call them back or anything so i didn't i mean obviously i was doing fine if i was having any issues of course i would call them back and ask them whatever questions i needed to but my phone's been on silent i don't really want to deal with anything so it's like whenever i pick up my phone and get on it that's great but i don't want it ringing or going off constantly or anything like that so arnica gel around my eyes i'm not sure if this actually helps it heal faster it's supposed to but the only way would be to compare but there's no really way to compare how your body would handle it without if you're applying it and not applying it i don't know if that makes any sense out of it i'm hungry still hungry i have some breakfast getting cold for me downstairs because that's what i always do <laughs> is just way too long and then it's cold. Once I'm done with all this, I'm gonna go downstairs and eat. So I'll definitely say that you should keep up with your food intake because it's probably the crappiest thing. It's starting to feel kind of weak. I just went to bed so late that I was getting kind of hungry while I was laying in bed and I just kept thinking about bed, or thinking about bed, oh my gosh, so out of it. But I kept thinking about food while I was laying in bed, but it was like midnight and I didn't want to get up and get food. Normally I probably would if I wasn't like recovering but because I was just kind of like feeling lazy I didn't want to get back up and I had dinner it was probably around seven though so like at midnight I was just like starving but I was so I ate some crackers and just went to sleep and the crackers did help I will definitely say having crackers sitting around is very convenient just because at least it's something you know and so if you need to take any medicine or whatever it's like quick and easy you know the inside of the nostril kind of sucks the septum is it i don't know like they brought it in so that part kind of feels tender when you have to put the ointment on it or at least on me everyone's rhinoplasty will be totally different obviously because there's different things that they need to do for everybody for me they did open up my airway inside my nostrils and brought that in to kind of like open that up as well oh, i'm getting like super hot i don't know if that happens to you guys but like if i start to get like too hungry or whatever and i start to get weak it's like i get these like hot flashes almost where i'm just like not feeling well so luckily i am just about done So I am down here eating breakfast. It's all nice and cold for me. So I thought that I was going to be able to do like clean up my face really fast and be down here and be able to eat. I would highly recommend that you keep up with your food. I've said this before. I mean, it might just be me, but like I get super sick if, if I get too hungry. So I don't know if it's like a blood sugar thing or whatever, but right as soon as I turned off the camera when we were upstairs and I got done cleaning everything up, I just got like almost like sick to my stomach but like, I just kind of had to curl up into a ball and just recoup my energy to get downstairs so I had to like sit there for a minute just because I did not feel good at all I think I just got way too hungry so once I got down here the first thing I did was I drank some orange juice I mean maybe it is the blood sugar I don't know because the Orange juice will obviously get your blood sugar back up pretty quick. It just kind of was like more my stomach too. I just think that I went too long without eating like substantial food, you know, because last night I had some crackers at like midnight and then dinner was at like seven and it is 11.40. So definitely waited too long between actual meals because I don't wake up early in the morning. And especially if I'm not feeling 100%, it takes me a while to really crawl out of bed. So by the time I'm crawling out of bed, 
I'm like on full starvation mode. But now I'm already feeling a lot better. I have gotten some bites down and uh, drink some orange juice, put the <laughs> Miralax in the orange juice. It doesn't have any flavor, so that's nice. And it's like non-gritty or whatever, even though it kind of looks like it would be because you put like a whole cup of that powder, but it doesn't taste like anything. So that's good. So hopefully today is the magical day that I can finally go to the bathroom properly. <laughs> Probably too much information, but I mean, it's just like part of it, part of the thing that you need to be ready for, I guess. Like I would recommend probably preparing for that earlier in the recovery time. So like just know that it's gonna happen because of the pain medicine. So maybe start taking it the first day post-op. So not the surgery day. Cause I, I mean, for me on the surgery day, I definitely had no problem going to the bathroom cause my nerves were through the roof. So my body was like evacuate mode. <laughs> So, but yeah, so the next day it's, everything's just gonna stop. So I would maybe like start preparing for it on the first day post-op or the second day post-op. I think, yeah, I started taking the Miralax yesterday. So that was the third day post-op because I figured I would wait like the first and second day and if nothing was happening, then, then do it. I don't know why we're still talking about poop anyway. Um, <laughs> so I have my little setup here. I have my bromelain supplement, which is the pineapple extract. You can also just drink pineapple juice. They're both the same thing, but antibiotic. I keep wanting to call it a probiotic because <laughs> like normally I don't like to take I mean, nobody likes to take antibiotics, but after surgery, you don't really have a choice. You just do what the doctor tells you because you don't want to mess something up or end up with an infection because obviously like it's not something that the body is normally going through. So you just do what the doctor tells you since you're volunteering for being in a freaking science experiment. And then I'll be also taking the Arnica supplements. So yeah, when you go to Whole Foods, they have a bunch of different kinds. Yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Oh my gosh, I just needed some food in my stomach. I still haven't taken another pain pill but I think the food is probably the most important part maybe just like set yourself up on a schedule if you're the one recovering have somebody else that is on a schedule to bring you food because I don't know I get super lazy especially when I'm not feeling 100% so even when I am feeling 100% let's be real I don't like to make myself food so yeah <laughs> so definitely having someone stay on top of it for you is preferable because I really suck I got it all the time so but yeah when you go to whole foods they have different kinds this apparently is the they might be made with like milk or something because this is the non-dairy i don't know what that means or why or what but they have like two different colors it's like these ones and the, the green containers and the blue containers so i think the green ones are maybe considered vegan because they don't have any lactose um, and then the blue ones do have lactose i didn't even know that they were made with lactose but i guess i don't know so and then they have different amounts like for chronic pain and things like that the 12 C I'm not sure exactly what that means but they said that that was for before and after surgery so you just take like four to five of those three times a day or something I at least take it twice a day everything's still doing good I guess it looks like I have like iodine all the way across my face but trust me I have wiped that all off that is all just recovering bruises swelling starting to go down even on this eye because this eye was like way perfect purple on the eyelid yesterday I remember and this eyelid was pretty purple on the first day so who knows either it's just healing fast or maybe the arnica gel is working or all the things that I'm taking heck I'm taking like three different things for bruising and swelling so um something's got to be working I keep my tissues on my shirt I don't know I got that from my grandma when I was younger she used to always tuck a, her tissues up her sleeve and apparently now I tuck it in the neck of my shirt the past couple days but yeah so it's looking all right. Looks like there's a little bit of something right there. Can't tell what it is. I mean, like, obviously it's a little drop of blood, but I just slept for like, I don't know, maybe three hours. Just woke up. It's like probably about six o'clock. It's a little lazy thing's been sleeping with me. He's so lazy. Oh my gosh. No, he's not that lazy. If someone came and grabbed him and let him out, he would have ran around, but if I'm laying down, he's laying down and we're both lazy. <laughs> oh, no, okay. 
He's so cute. So yeah, so I'm gonna wipe my face off again, get everything cleaned up. Everyone I think is over at the other house. I'm getting ready for dinner. Probably licking my sweat. I've just been like laying there sweating. It's so hot upstairs. I have my fan going, which you can probably hear in the background. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do a quick little sponge bath, change my clothes, put on a hat, make myself maybe look a little less scary. Probably not gonna work, but we will try. Most of the family has not seen my face like this and it does not look much better than the first day so I think a hat will have to be the way to go and we'll see how that goes. So there's been a discovery. I am just like wiping off and I was just going over my legs again. I went over like more around the patches so I hadn't found anything weird because I was just kind of focusing on like parts that had leaked but I found an extra spot that they actually didn't put a patch over probably because it wasn't leaking but it was definitely a spot where they went in so it, I'm just going to show it to you guys because it probably shows about the incision size of how they get the fat out so yeah look at that it's got the mark around it and everything so I'm pretty sure they went in through there but you can see there's still the patches around here this side's fine um tape's still holding on on this side on the other hand it's kind of falling apart so I'm gonna have to retake the bottom but yeah here I'm just gonna hurry and get ready to head out they're already starting to eat so um I'll see you guys in a minute oh well I think I've managed to make myself look scarier than I would without the hat on but um, I figured I could maybe like try to cover my face a little but I, then I just like if you can't see my forehead I feel like it makes it look even darker and it just makes it look worse <laughs> but either way I got everything wiped up got all changed up hopefully somewhat presentable brush my teeth and now we're just gonna go attempt to eat some food I packed up any stuff that I might need like ointment q-tips uh, tissues chapstick my nighttime medicine I mean it's literally only five minutes away from the house but while I'm eating I would like to be able to take my medicine with the food so I think I packed up everything brought you guys so yeah if anything exciting happens I'll let you know so the end of I don't even know what day it is it's a day four I'm pretty exhausted once again I have not taken any pain medicine all day so I haven't taken any Tylenol or any pain meds since last night I thought about taking some Tylenol before bed tonight but I didn't see any Tylenol so if I really need to take something I'll just have to take half of my pain pill I think I'm gonna try to go to sleep without it though I felt like I needed it earlier we had dinner and stayed over at the other house for a while for like a couple of hours and just played some Wii and stuff. I just get so tired really easily. I keep getting the waves of hot and cold so mainly I get cold pretty easily so I get kind of shivery so I constantly had to have a blanket over me or something and just kept getting tired and then eventually I just couldn't really sit still because I was so uncomfortable. Not in pain but just like my muscles were achy. My neck has been super stiff and just like I don't know I did not want to sit still so it was just kind of time to come home so I came back to the house and decided to eat some food so I drank one of my Costco shakes and made some soup and had some vitamin C because of like having the waves of hot and cold I just want to make sure I don't get sick especially because I just feel like my body's just kind of weak obviously with everything going on so I'll just try to go to bed without taking a pain pill to catch you guys up also the whole Marilax has not worked yet so I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it again tomorrow fingers crossed because we're going on too many days now so I'm just gonna go get ready for bed clean all this up give you guys a little bit of a close-up of what's going on I don't know if there's like a stitch missing right here I looked at it and the close-up of yesterday it looked like it was still there it just looks a little bit bloodier I guess today just like a tiny little scab and so yesterday it just looked like it was a bit of like a raw spot also bruising looking nice and yellow so I think that's a good sign for this eye it's finally starting to work its way off can't wait for this part to start changing color because I think this part just had it the worst so there's a lot of it to work through and then this side is getting a lot more yellow so this one was definitely healing up a lot faster and it just keeps like itching underneath here I'm all broken out ugh just started breaking out before and it's just 
still like that. I don't know, my skin's gotten super oily ever since the surgery and taking all these medications I'm sure isn't the best thing for your skin either. I've had like random little zings, kind of like, not pain, but just a little zap here and there like where the incisions are, obviously because I haven't been taking the pain medicine, but it just like, only zaps for like a second. But like I said earlier, I think it's just like, the nerves reconnecting or just healing pains, I guess. And then my legs have just still been pretty tender and sore, just feeling bruised. Same as before. That's it. So I'm just gonna go get ready for bed. I did not have time to wash my hair today. Maybe I'll get to do it tomorrow before I go down to my parents. We'll see. I mean, they're not gonna carry their way, but you know, it would just be nice. You guys have a good night and we'll see what it's all looking like tomorrow. Good night.